Hey guys, this is uh, Jesse, SoCal Digital Repair. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video on swapping out a iPhone 6 coil. So let's take a look. Alright, so this is um, an iPhone that I fixed before. I uh, had a backlight issue, so I repaired that. Um, came back to me, still more, still an issue with the backlight. I repaired that, but now the brightness does not go to 100%. That usually is this coil. So let's just replace it. So I have this uh, steel block that I use for heat sink. Learned about it from Art of Repair YouTube channel. Let's see how I can get this. Like this. Alright, so I want to protect the CPU. Alright, so let me just add some flux. Oh, wait, you guys can't see it. See, so how do I go about this? Probably just pick at it. All right, my quick hot air station is at 370, 60 for the air. So here I go. So I'm just gonna pluck it out once I see the solder. Uh, melting. There it goes. Alright, so uh, here's the coil. Alright. Here's the new one. So this is the original style. So, yeah. Nice a little flux. You can see the pads. Uh, for coils, there's no polarity, so you could. To work either way. Alright, let's do it again. So now, since this is loose, I will go in high, far away, and then slowly work my way in. solid. Oh, it's pretty hot. Let me cover that up. So the, the steel block cooled down the board uh, to avoid any damage to the CPU, any any kind of solder balls forming under it. Um, always a good idea to uh, cover the CPU, protect it from any, any extra heat. So lot cooler now. You could also put it on top. Alright, so let's wait for it to... It's pretty cool now. So let's give it a, some cleaning. I 
I soften up the toothbrush before I brush on it. this to blow away all the, the isopropyl alcohol. Alright, so let's see how does it look. Uh, that looks pretty solid, everything else. Nothing looks like it moved. So now let's give it a test. Here's the screen. Let me move this out of the way. So what I do is I plug in the charging port, battery, all right. And then you plug into a PC and then it'll force it to start up. Oh, there you go. You see the Apple logo? So now we wait. recognize it now. Let's see what happens. Previously the the screen was real dim so although the backlight started working um, it was still dim the the brightness you would adjust it when it moved so all right here we go we're in Alright, so you see the brightness now works. Oops. Oh, there you go. So it's fixed. So thanks for watching. Hit me up on Instagram if you're if you have any questions.